Hello friends, my myself Professor Vinod Pillai, welcome to C programming session. In today's session, I'll be explaining about how to do file I/O operations in C. File I/O is one of the topics in C which is considered having many of the topics. So I've divided this session into three major parts. In the first session, I'll be explaining you about what is file I/O, what is the need of file I/O, what are the major operations we generally do with file operations that means what is we intended we want to open a file we want to create a new file we want to close the file we want to read and write data from the files I'll be explaining you in the third topic what are the different modes of the files are available and how to do it and what are the need of such different types of it the fourth and final step will be seeing a simple program in which we'll be able to write data into the files and we'll be able to read that data that will be data is of type of integer in the part two and three in the part 2, I'll be showing you how to write different data types of values into it. That is, a character value, a string value, or even a structure value into the files. In the part 3 session, you'll be seeing how to access random access files or random access concepts in files in C. Okay, so let's start with the first one part. That is, explaining about file I.O. and what is the need of the file I.O. For that, I've created some PPTs. Let's explain. I'll be explaining from that only. The PPT is already been uh, available in SlideShare. Uh, the code and all will be available in my WordPress. Let's start it. First and foremost, why we need the file? The file management is quite important because whenever we are doing it or the programming till now, what we have done is the value is stored into the temporary memory. That is, the variable is being created. Yes, with the help of printf scanf, I'm putting the values into the variables, but all the variables are created in the RAM. As and when I get out of the program, the all the data, all the all the values which I've entered into the variables will be destroyed. Okay. For example, if I want to enter 500 students' data, and on the basis of that, I have to create some generate some result, then what happens is the day one, if I sit and I enter suppose 20 or 30 students' data, as the day ends, I exit from my program, all the data which I have entered, that is in the day one, 1 to 10, will be lost for the second day. So in the second day, I have to again start from 1 to 10. So only solution is instead of data, storing the data into the RAM, or you can say into the memory, we have to convert or we have to store the data into secondary storage memory that is on hard disk with the concepts of files. So that we have understood that if you want to store the data for longer run and you want to uh, take the data and do some processing in that cases we have to store the data into secondary memory storage that is with the help of files we can do it. Okay, so something we have understood that we have to use files for storing the data. Now question comes how we will do it. C has provided the library and C has provided the header file with the help of which we can do this thing. File is a structure pointer available. We have to create a pointer of file structure which is there in stdi.h. I don't want you to be get confused right now with the concept. Only thing you have to understand if you don't understand structure, please refer to one of my videos in which I have explained how to create structures and what is it. File is a structure which is an inbuilt structure created in stdi.h header file. So you, if you want to do any file operations, you have to first and foremost create a pointer of file class. Okay, and you have to include the stdi.h which is already been included in most of the cases. Now what are the major operations we are expecting from files? Before going into that, I hope so now you're clear that what is the need of files. Now let's understand what are the major operations we are you'll be intended to do with the files in C. So if you go into that topic, let's get back into the PPT. Okay, so major operations what I'm expecting is creating a file, opening a file, reading and writing data from file and closing a file. Rename and deleting the file will be shown in the part two section. Okay, so let's concentrate on these topics only. That is how to create a new file, how to open a file and how to read and write and finally after the operation is completed, how to close the file. These are the major operations anyone would like to do with the files. First and foremost, as, by, as I've said, you have to create file pointers. Okay, so how many files you want to operate at a simultaneously that many pointers you have to create. If someone says I want to read from two files and on basis of read data then I have to generate a result. In that case what you have to do is you have to open you have to create two major file pointers because you want to simultaneously read from two files. If someone says I want to read from two files but first read from the first file then you have to again then I don't need the first file and then I, you have to read from the second file in that case you can use only single pointer and you can do the task 
If someone says I want to read from one file and write to another file simultaneously, then you're going you require two file pointers. If someone says I want to read first data and the single data is to be written to the second file, then I don't want to read anything, I just simply want to write it. In that case, you can use the same file pointer. Okay, so these are the things how much file pointers are required. It is depends upon how many files or how many uh, you how many file operations you want to do simultaneously. If you say two, three files you want to simultaneously work, that many pointers you have to create. So this is how you declare the file pointer. Now question comes, how to create a file or how to open the file? If you want to create the file, you have to simply write f open the file name and you have to specify the mode. Okay, before getting into that, let's see the mode first. These many modes are available. We'll be seeing right now these modes. That is, if you want to simply read from a file, you have to specify R in the second parameter. That is here. I'll show you in the codes. You'll understand more in detail in that. If you want to write a file, if you want to, someone says, I want to write this data to a file, then you have to open the file in write mode. If someone says file is already there with some data, I want to just add some data into it, then you have to open in the append mode. If someone says he's working with binary file, then in that case, you have to specify the mode that is RB, WB and AB. If someone says I want to open the file and read and write both, then R plus will help it. But here you have to remember it will not create a new file R plus. It will just open existing files where you can do both the task. If someone said W plus, that means it will create a new file, but you can read and write both. Similarly for append and similarly for R plus W. I hope so you have understood for R plus W what it will be. Okay, let's see the code. It will be more easier for you to understand. First and foremost, to create a file, you have to, or you read one, read from a file, you simply have to create a file pointer. That is first and foremost. Okay. Because file is a structure variable which is there in stdio.h, so I don't have to include any other header files. Second comes is to create a file. To create a new file, simply you have to say fp equal to f open whatever file name you want to specify and what mode. Because you want to create a new file, so I'm specifying w. w will create a new file with name as 1.txt. So question comes, what happens if 1.txt is exist, then it will delete that 1.txt and it will create a new file. So anyhow, if you put it as W, all the old data will be deleted and a new file will be created. F open, what is the command says? F open says, I want to open this file. W says, I want to open a new file. And who will be responsible? Who will be seeing all the data? FP knows, that is the file pointer knows all these data. So first of all, writing the data into the file, I get the value into the value variable. So now the value is in the local variable or you can see in the RAM. Now I want to transfer into secondary storage. There are different methods are available in the C with the help of which you can write integer character, string, structure and all. Time being, I'm as per my said, I'll be showing how to write integer value. Okay, so I'll be more concentrating on integer only. So put W is one of the methods with the help of which we can write integer values into the files. How will I do it? I'll saying value that is who is having the value that is whatever value I'm entering. It is stored in value variable. So I'm saying value is having all the data. Where you want to write? FP knows. So FP is right now pointing to one dot txt and that two in the right mode. So he can write the data. My task is over because now I want to read the data also. But right now my file is opened in the W so I can only write it. So what I have to do, I have to tell the file pointer my task is over. Please close this file in the write mode and again I will open that file in the read mode. So I've said how to close the file. I've said F close. Which file you want to say? FP knows the whole the data. So FP is pointing to 1.txt. Now to read the data, again you have to open it simply but this time you will open with the mode of r so i say fp is equal to f open 1.txt r so this time the same file will be open it will not be created new once again because here i have specified the mode as r that is read mode if existing if it is not an existing file then how to check it sir and what is the comes is that is the code i have explained this is the code is quite good if you want to check it okay i'm not included i don't want to confuse everything with the coding so this is a portion where you can check whether the such file exists whether you are able to open it or not or whether you don't have any rights or any error comes then fp will be equal to equal to null if fp equal to equal to null that means you had a problem in opening the file so this way you can identify that also so if you feel like necessary such then you can include that code here now comes how to read it. Like put w is there to write the data integer value into the file. Get w is again one of the codes with the help of you you can read it. 
how you will say get w fp so fp is the file who knows fp is a pointer who knows from where you want to read and where is the file pointer simply reads the data and transfer into rel currently rel is not having value because previously i have entered the value in value variable so rel previously it was not having any value whatever data it will read it will be stored into rel and i'm simply printing the value again the task is over i don't need now file anymore so i release the pointer and say with the help of f close fp let's run the program and see what is coming so i compile it uh, before going into that i just want to show you that this is a file it is not having any 1.txt file that the file which i am requesting right now so my current file name is 1.txt once i run the program let's see what happens so it's asking me data now it is in the ram but I, as I hit enter, it will be stored into the file and it will read from the file. Let's see what has happened in the background. And you can see 1.txt file has been created. It has stored the value and finally afterwards file pointer has read the values. So in this video, we have seen how to, what is the need of file IO in C programming? What are the major operations you used to do? What are the major modes are available and how to read and write? Once if you understand this concept, what is the flow, general flow, file pointer open the file in appropriate mode read or write the data task is over please close the file if you understand this concept you can do same thing with string array structure any data types in the part 2 i'll be showing how to work with different data types that is more specifically i'll be working on different methods like put w and get w is for integer similarly we have s printf f printf read f write different functions are there for different data types i hope so i've cleared the doubts if you still have any queries you can post comments into this video or else you can email me or you can find all the codes regarding to this into my blog that's we know the best dot wordpress.com don't forget to subscribe this video if you like this link please share this video with your friends thank you and have a nice day